Hey guys, Zuljan here, and welcome back to another episode of Dead and Vinland. Things are looking not not as grim as they could be, although we do have to look at some maintenance today of our <laughs> of our lovely fine folk, our family, our Viking family. So we have uh, last time we noticed that some of our statistics were getting a little bit unmanageable. Let's take a look at the characters here, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, our our gal here, it looks like she's got quite a bit of fatigue and depression. Um, so we're going to have to make sure that um, that she really, really, really takes a rest here because her, her skill is getting pretty bad. Uh, so we're probably just going to end up putting her in the bed. We do have a rest spot unlocked, I do believe, at the first area. Yeah, rest area. So, uh, let's, instead of just scavenging today, why don't you take a rest, okay? Why don't you sit down? Decreases fatigue by 20 to 30. That's gonna allow her to take a nap. Okay. Uh, did look into other things that I can craft, and, uh, the workshop allowed me to choose a crafting plan of mining camp, which will enable me to mine with one character. Uh, all it takes is wood and rope and something that we both have so we'll let that go we got three days until we have to pay tribute so we could use our wood for now let's take a look at fetching water still has to be done although we are doing pretty good on water supply uh i do believe that one more day of this before she may take some extra time off to rest is worth it and of course the exploration we're going to continue with uh let's check out our map really quickly and see, it looks like we depleted the wheat patch for the natural resources, so we'll have to move on from there. But we are currently exploring this area right here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and shift to the next day and see how this this happens. We got 26, which is kind of yeah, it's a pretty good roll, I suppose. Crafting skill goes up. Wood gets used. Rope gets used. Mining camp is 62% done. Fatigue is getting pretty high. 4.5 water. Strength 1. Leveled up. Beautiful. Fatigue is getting really high for her as well. We're going to use a little bit of water to do the exploration. And we leveled up too. Good. And we unlocked a new area. Beautiful. And we started exploring the meadow. Her fatigue is manageable as well. Okay. What is the debuff? Ah, her level up. It shows a, uh, on top of them. That's pretty good. Okay. Swift Justice. This is a battle skill. Effects resistance, minus 20. Critical, minus 5. AP plus 1. Initiative, plus 5. Hmm. Crafting. Accuracy. Battle accuracy. I like that. Call of Treasure. Harvesting minus 5, scavenging plus 10. What is her current level of skill? Harvesting is 41. So... Scavenging, so that would go down to 36. And scavenging would go up by 10. Which, uh, we're at 42, 52. I suppose that's a pretty good trade. That's a pretty good trade. Let's do it. Alright. So her skills are modified. Uh, let's check out... No levels here. Uh, Bloodwid does have a, uh, a level. Bleeding and Glutton. Bleeding. Four days left. Two to five injury per night. We should probably try to treat that. Glutton, 25% hunger increases. Okay. Yeah, 100% chance to be healed by using an item or a medical tent. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Um, battle health plus one, too. So we really need to treat that. Let's check out to see what we can learn. Apprentice Miner. I like the look of that. Call of the Brain. Intelligence plus 10, Wisdom minus 5. Gardening XP. Unflinching. Effects resistance. Yeah, let's do Apprentice Miner. Okay. 
Uh, now let's look at inventory here. I'm sorry. Use an item. Okay. So... We could... This get, takes away fatigue, but adds to hunger. Which isn't a bad thing right now. Cola nuts. I like it. This will help us extend a little bit more, right? Our hunger is still manageable right now, too, so should be fine. Injury is minus 20%. Glutton with its only thing. So, bleeding. I guess we would only be able to take that away with a bandage. Starving. Starving plus 5 to 10 hunger each night. This is not good at all. Um, this will take it away. Has a chance to remove a trait. It might not. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, because adding hunger really sucks, man. 100% chance to be healed by using an item or the medical tent. Her depression's already way too high for that. Let's use the colon nut on him. Okay. Starving. Glutton. Starving. I think we're okay right now with items. I think we're okay with that. The new area. Stern Woman. Inspect. You see a middle-aged woman sitting in a meditative pose. Despite the mud on her clothes showing that she's been sleeping on the ground for a long time, she's managed to maintain a certain degree of elegance in her look. Her deep black hair is neatly combed into a sophisticated haircut, which contrasts uh, with a magnificent dragon tattoo covering a large part of her right arm. Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder if this is a, uh, a new person that we can, uh, we can get. Who will perform this action? Let mom talk to her. Hello? Don't move. The code of honor says that I should warn you. If you move, you die. I come in peace. We are not with Bjorn's men. We? We made a camp not far from here. We're a handful of good willing people. Good? I doubt anyone on this island knows the true meaning of this word anymore. But if your intent is really to fight the demon of a man, the code of honor requires that I should follow you. We need strong warriors. Why not? We need strong warriors to help us. Good. I am Lady Tomo Gozen. Lady Tomo will suffice. Lady Tomo follows you back to the camp with dignity. She's now part of your community, for better or for worse. So, Tomo reminds me of Northern Lion's cat, right? <laughs> Pretty cool. Ryan has a cat named Tomo that he talks about in all his videos. Alright, new people have joined your camp. Your community is growing. I like it. Don't forget to assign cast uh, tasks to your new character. Okay, we, we shall not. We shall not. Alright. Um, so... What the? You have two levels to use. What are your stats, darling? How 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 do we look here? Uh, okay. Oh, I love this. Zero percent everything. You are healthy as a button for sleeping on the ground. You've been taking good care of yourself. Too bad you're under my care now. Uh, I'm sure gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna put you to work. Uh, okay. So it looks like she is very. She's mentally apt. It looks like or she's physically apt as well. Her concentration and her endurance are not incredibly overwhelming here, but I think uh, her scavenging is so low. Scavenging wouldn't be that good with it. She can mine okay. She can forest okay. Gardening. Maybe foresting. Maybe forestry might be her deal. Beast handling is 39. Cooking, fishing. So currently... Currently, we have Kari that's doing most of that stuff, which is pretty good. But Kari will be able to use a rest after a little while. Let's let's look at her levels and what can we do? Gardening XP, cooking. I like that. Experienced harvester, plus ten harvesting. 
Apprentice Cook. Quick Fatigue Recovery. I like that. Um, let's bring up Harvesting. Or let's... We not, I know we're not cooking right now, but we will be. Cooking might work pretty good. Apprentice Cook. I think we're going to go with that. Okay. And that's it. All right. Beautiful. There's her traits. She's a Spartan. Minus 25% hunger increases. Plus 50% to cooking gains. She's stubborn. <laughs> she hates stones. I'm glad we didn't add mine. And suspicious. Minus 25% to opinion increase. Okay. We got it. We got it. All right. That's interesting. So, um, let's go back. Your fatigue is manageable again. We're going to put you back harvesting. Her scavenging is only 17. She hasn't been doing too good with the scavenging. Who's better at scavenging? I'm trying to see. Um, scavenging at 45. Kari might be better at this for just a little while. Let's take Moira and... How do you do with exploration, Moira? Her ex exploration is 17. What what are you what exactly are you good at again? Forestry is really low. We don't want to do that. Um let's take a look at your character sheet, Moira. What are you good at again? Uh, gardening, she's okay with. She's got beast handling. She's, she's pretty good cooking, actually. Stealth. Hmm. Okay. Mental. We don't have a whole lot of skills that require mental and stuff yet. I guess better than nothing right here. We'll just switch out for a little while. She might not do too well, but she'll be exploring at any rate. Hopefully, she doesn't use too much um, too much resources for nothing, right? Okay. Uh, we're going to gather water here again. And what are we going to use... What are we going to use the new gal for? Exploration, not that great. Forestry is 20. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Okay, let's do it. Oh, let's check fire first. Let's check the fire first, because we already gathered some water. Let's turn what we have into potable water. We need more now. Because we have another mouth to feed. But we go, we doing more work, right? Okay. And let's look over fixing our stuff as well. Camp condition. Excellent. No problems yet. No maintenance needed to be done on anything. We're getting 100% output from everything because of its condition. Perfect. All right. See what you can do, Kari. Six wood. Two rope. Crap meals. <laughs> oh, good. Cola nuts. And some fatigue. And depression. So going through the old stuff adds depression every time. There's a mining camp. That's good stuff. Very nice. We're getting good at scavenging. We have to upgrade our house soon, man. Get some rest added to it, you know? Our shelter, I mean. So 
So not quite another uh, place opened up. Encounter. Crap. <clears throat> all right, we know what that's all about. Um, okay, here we go. Um, so we're definitely going to take the warrior in. <laughs> and um, I think we're going to take mom in again. Okay, three of three. Let's do it. Knife Guy and Plunderer. All right. Well, we got Lady Tomo this time, which just got smacked in the face with a knife. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's impenetrable wall. Okay. And let's turtle strike. Two in your face. And I still have one action point. Uh, we will in turn. Next, plunderer insults Lady Tomo. Debuff. Chop. Dang! Took down her damage resistance. She got hit. So much for your impenetrable wall. Okay. So now it's our turn to hit. Wild swing. Damage 2 to 4. Berserk attack. Melee strike. 2 to 4 damage. Accuracy 85. Warcry. And all, uh, all allies. Oh. So she kind of works like um, my buddy there, Eric. Okay. Okay. Let's do... We have 6 AP. So let's do a melee strike. Four. Very good. That was a nice hit. One more and he's toast, man. Can we hit? Oh, we missed. Dang it. All right. And out of reach, random enemy in a melee row. Uh, effect one turn. Move to back. Dodge. Plus 15 self. Okay. Ancient curse. Targets an enemy in a row. Dodge minus 10. AP minus 1. Prayer to the gods. Max damage plus two accuracy, damage resistance minus one self. Okay, I see. Wow, uncanny litany. Targets all enemies in all rows. <laughs> I you have to rest up to use that one. Hmm, man. Uh, surprising blow can only be used from the melee row. Okay. Uh, let's do. I missed. Dang it. Okay, we'll give him some buffs. All right. Knife guy. Aggressive lunge. Thankfully, we missed that. Okay. Turtle Strike will do 1 to 5 damage. Let's get rid of somebody. Let's get rid of somebody, man. Nice. Okay. Impenetrable Wall is up. Let's try to wall swing this guy. Yeah! <laughs> that was a big lick, man. Huge. And bull charge. Dang it. He's almost dead. Okay. Um, can we do where we minus his AP? Yeah. Let's debuff his AP. And let's do it twice. Maybe he won't even be able to attack. Resisted. Dang it. All right. Maim? That doesn't sound good. Whew. We missed. He missed, I mean. 
Oh, perfect. All right, you going down, buddy. You going down. Nice. Nice battle. All right, Lady Tomo's wounded dislocated shoulder for four days. We got, what is this? Yaro powder, minus five injury, okay. And rope, okay. All right. So that was all right. You didn't do too bad on your first day out, Mara. I liked it, I liked it, I liked it. Okay, so uh, we still have the end of day to go through. Let's manage our water and maybe use some items as well. Beautiful. I think 80, 87 fire is plenty for the night. That should be good. Okay. Uh, let's look at inventory really quick. Okay. Fatigue. We did find this stuff, which takes away injury, right? So let's take a look at injury is 29, injury is 26, injury is 37, injury is 9. Uh, injury 37. That's probably what we need right here. Okay. She's in bad shape, Moira. <laughs> Her depression is still extremely high. This takes away 20 energy, in injury. Minus 11 to all physical skills. Minus 15 to increase traits injury resistance. Let's go ahead and use it on her. Okay. Minus 10 fatigue would help out a ton. Plus 5 hunger. I think we're okay with that. She's low in hunger. So we use the cola nuts. Beautiful. Okay. She'll rest pretty well tomorrow then. Uh, Alright. I think that is it for this day. Let's talk a little bit. Yes. We are not left alone on this damned island with only a crazy tyrant as a neighbor. Depression minus 10. Yes! Yes! Yes, girl! Yeah! Cheer everybody up! <clears throat> I must confess that I thought we were doomed for a moment. Now there's hope, even if it's just a spark. Hmm, let's still be cautious. Don't give our trust too easily. We should try to talk a bit with people we can recruit in our camp. Knowing their true motives could be a matter of life and death. As long as they help on the camp, I don't care to chit-chat with them. You'll help too, Corey. If you don't, uh, I don't want you to stay silent all day long. Uh, Frig gave you a lovely voice. Use it. <laughs> and with a smile, child. Ugh, even you, Dad? So her depression increased. Let's keep in mind this is our camp. If we don't trust someone anymore, we can always kick them out. Yes, more people also means more problems and less food. So let's choose our strategy with caution. So what is the plan? What plan? You have a plan, right? What for? I accepted to join your community only for one reason, to fight this Bjorn and free ourselves from his tyranny. She's right, we must fight. She's right. I don't want to be a slave to this horrible man. I'd rather die fighting than enduring for this shame. It's true. The Allfather welcomes the brave warriors who fall in battle, but it doesn't mean that we should rush our own death without thinking first. Wise words. There is no honor in fighting aimlessly like wild beasts. My sincere thanks for letting me join you. Together we will be stronger. Oh yeah, she made everybody happy there. Resolute. For three days, whatever that means. <laughs> I found a good spot not far from here. A good spot for what? A mining spot. There are plenty of good, sturdy rocks and an iron vein. This is a good opportunity if we make two sturdier buildings and tools, we'll need those. But it's so heavy. <laughs> I'll leave it to strong wind. Men, I'm not capable to mine these things. You could help, Moira. I can, so I don't understand why you couldn't. But you're more manly than I am. What the hell, manly? <laughs> Ah, it's true, Mom. It's scary sometimes. Wow, stop it right here, girls. Don't get upset, Eric. I'm You married a manly woman, it's a problem, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Let her talk. She's always been jealous of me. I don't know why. You don't know why? Ha! That's the best one. Look at yourself, sister. You'll know why. Good night. Angry. Oh, well. She started it. <laughs> What's wrong with her? Nothing, honey. She's tired like all of us. More depression. We share in the depression. Dang it. Why can't you all be nice to each other? Hunger goes went up a lot for everybody. Okay. Um, so, I don't know how much food we got yesterday. So we got 1.25 water for... There we go, 3.25. We're climbing the, that, that hydration ladder, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, crap meal. 5% nausea, diarrhea, 5% depressed. This is terrible. <laughs> um, okay, we got 29, 27, and 34. Let's, um, let's go for some cheese here. A little bit of sickness. That ain't good. His stats are getting pretty high all around, too. Um, and she is at 29. Her depression is pretty high altogether. This just does 12 to 18 hunger, non-perishable. Let's give her... Her stats are really high, so let's go ahead and bring her hunger way down. And let's treat everybody a little bit more here. Okay. I think... I think we're all set. Okay, we're gonna lose some crap meals if we don't use them. We will lose 0 to 50% of the stock. So we could lose up to 3 of these. Should we use them? Yeah, let's do one on her. Okay. Could have been a lot worse. I think our levels are pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and go next. Trait effects. Minus three fatigue. Add a little bit of fatigue. Hunger went up because of that starvation. Depression. Hangover removed. Good. Fatigue reduced for everyone. Fire gets reduced. And it looks like we lost three crap meals. So we did lose 50% of it, pretty much. <laughs> wow. Alright. Today's weather is sunny again. <laughs> sunny with no chance of clouds in the sky. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So camp condition. Something... Okay, crafting speed. So, we don't have any rocks to help out this workshop. Um, so, we're going to have to mine some for sure. And we'll worry about that next episode, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. And we'll see you next time.